Well, hi there, boys and girls. Today we're going to take a look at bases other than E, so like 2 or 7 or something like that, and how to deal with their derivatives and their integrals. And so we're going to start by how to solve equations, because sometimes we might need to find out the x values where two equations are equal to each other. So on A here, I have 2 to the 3x is equal to 45, and I need to answer what x value makes that true. So what you can do, first of all, is you have to get this 3x down in front of the 2. We need to get this x down here on the level playing field, if you will, so that we can solve for it. And something that will allow me to do that is a logarithm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log, or the natural log, of both sides. So the natural log of 2 to the 3x is equal to the natural log of 45. So that's step one. Step two is bring your 3x down in front. So 3x times the natural log of 2 is equal to the natural log of 45. I can do that because of our properties of logarithms. Now the constants over here are the 3 and the natural log of 2. So this is like a coefficient on my x, the 3 and the natural log of 2 together. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3 natural log of 2. I'm going to get x equals the natural log of 45 divided by 3 natural log of 2, which could be the natural log of 45 divided by the natural log of 8. That's just a different representation because the 3 can come up here on the 2 as an exponent and 2 cubed is 8. Either one of these is fine and what you could do at this point if you needed a decimal you could just type that in your calculator and hit enter. So let's deal with B, how to deal with the logarithmic equation. Again we're trying to solve this equation for x. What you can do is you can rewrite this equation into an exponential form, and that's what you have up here. This is how you turn something into an exponential form. We take the base, which is a 5, and then we take it to the power of what's on the other side of the equal sign. That's this b to the y. That's what this formula tells you. So 5 to the third power is equal to x minus 2. So we turn this into an exponential equation. And we can do this without a calculator. We know that 5 cubed is 125. And so x here would be equal 127. That's not bad at all. All right, there's some old and new formulas here. Some we're going to use, some I don't ever use. I use some different ones. Um, this first one, we definitely need to know this. The derivative of natural log u is u prime over u. The derivative of e to the u is e to the u times du dx. The integral of e to the u du is e to the u plus c. These better be a, a checklist on your math tool belt. You better know all of these. This one right here, I'm going to show you how to use the formula, but I don't use this formula. I actually do something different. When I solve problem, this example right here, I'm going to show you what I do differently. You can just throw it into the formula, but at some point that's enough formulas. You want to know the process. Now here's something you don't know yet, but it's new. This looks a lot like the derivative of e to the u, but this is the derivative of a to the u, where a is any, any constant, any constant. And so the answer is a to the u. Now look, that's a lot similar to this e to the u. So a to the u is involved with the derivative, and also the du dx, the chain rule. Both of those we've seen before, but there's an extra piece. If a is not e, you have to multiply by the natural log of a. Now all exponential functions are proportional to themselves, but if it's not e to the x, you have to include this extra natural log of a. I'll show you that. And then here's an integral going backwards. You just basically undo this. And that's just, that's a formula. So let's take a look at this. If I have y equals 2 to the x cubed, I want to find y prime. Now this is an exponential function, so it, you can't think, you know, bring the exponent down and subtract 1 from that. You have to use one of these two formulas. We're going to use this one right here, where a is 2. So I'm going to let u equal x cubed. So du dx is 3x squared. And so I can just plug it into my formula, and my answer is... 2 to the x cubed, that's the, the exponential stays alone, and then we multiply that times the natural log of our base 2. That's the only thing that's different. Natural log of e, of course, is just 1, so that's why you don't see it in this formula. And then times du dx, which would be 3x squared, and that would be my answer for that. Now, on the second example, you can just use the formula for the derivative of log base blah. We've got a derivative of natural log formula, but here's a derivative of log base 7 or log base 9. And I'm not really a fan of it because if I'm ever given an equation that looks like this, I would turn it into an exponential, first of all, 
by, I'm just calling this y, so 3 to the y equals x squared plus 1. And then I'm going to take the natural log of both sides, and which will allow me to bring the y down. And now I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. Or actually, I'll, I'll pull the natural log of 3 over here. So I'm going to have y equals 1 over the natural log of 3. That's just a constant. It looks weird, but it's just a constant times the natural log of x squared plus 1. So what I've done is I've changed the base. I've, and if you know your change of base formula, it's just the natural log of x squared plus 1 over the natural log of 3. That's your change of base formula. And now you can just do u prime over u on this portion right here. So your u prime would be 2x over x squared plus 1 and we just bring the constant 1 over the natural log of 3 along with this. Now if you want, you can just memorize this formula. That's for log base A. See, and see how the formula would work? It'd be 1 over u, where u is x squared plus 1, and we have that here. And then next to natural log of A, which is natural log of 3, and then times du dx is 2x. I'm just not really a fan of this formula. I like to ch do a change of base and turn everything into terms of natural log, and just remember this u prime over u derivative. That's, that requires me to just remember one derivative. This is all pre-calculus stuff anyway. All right, so our next example is how to integrate um, 2 to the x. So the integral of 2 to the x, I've got an integral formula right here. It's just going backwards from the derivative. We're just going to end up dividing by the natural log of a. This is fairly straightforward. It's going to be 2 to the x over the natural log of 2 plus c. That's just straight up here using this formula. And I can do that because dx is the derivative of x. So I've got it into the form a to the u du. Now, of course, what if it's not? Um, here, I'm going to let u equal, if you look at your formula, u is going to be the exponent on your exponential function, 3 to the x cubed. So u is equal to x cubed, which says that du dx would be 3x squared. And we have to look and see what we have left to substitute for. I've got an x squared and a dx. So that means that 1 third du equals x squared dx. So I can turn this into the integral of 3 to the u times 1 third du. And so I can just now just plug it into my formula. So I've got a to the u, 3 to the u, divided by the natural log of 3 plus c, and then the 1 third just comes along with me. All right, one last example is how to deal with a variable that's in an exponent and also the variable is involved with the base. This is similar to like y equals x to the x. How do we find the derivative of that? You cannot just bring the x down and subtract one from it. That's only if this x up here is a number like 2, 3, or 4 or something. What we're going to have to do is something called logarithmic differentiation. And After you do something like this, you're going to feel like a math boss, I promise you, because this is cool. First of all, we are going to take the natural log of both sides, so I'm going to get the natural log of y is equal to, I'm going to go ahead and bring the x minus 3 down, because I can do that with natural logs, that's a property of logarithms. So I took the natural log of both sides and the x minus 3 moved down in front of the natural log here. And I am now going to ddx both sides of this equation, I'm going to ddx everything. So my the derivative of natural log of y is u prime over u. So y prime over y is equal to second side. I've got to use the product rule. I've got a product of x minus 3 and the natural log of x plus 1. So I'm going to do the first times the derivative of the second. The derivative of the second is 1 over x plus 1, which I think I'm just going to write it down here like this. So there's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second natural log of x plus 1 times the derivative of the first, and the derivative of x minus 3 is just 1. So there is y prime over y is equal to all of this, and now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides times y. Times y. And what is y equal? It equals this right here. So this is going to be y prime is equal to x minus 3 divided by x plus 1 plus the natural log of x plus 1, and then we're going to take all of this times what our original y was, which was x plus 1 to the x minus 3 power. Now that's got to make you feel good. 
Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow.